As each page of this comic book turns, it isn't too hard for Noran Nazir to see her own reflection. I first uh, read the comics when I was in seventh grade, so I was in middle school, and uh, immediately I was like very enraptured in like the character because she was like a desi girl growing up in Jersey City, and it just reminded me very much of myself because I'm also a Pakistani person, first generation. That girl is Kamala Khan, better known as the powerful shape-shifting and size-shifting Miss Marvel. She made history in 2014 as the first Muslim character to get her own Marvel comic comic book and now the teen superhero who goes to a school inspired by McNair Academic High School is coming to life in a new critically acclaimed TV show airing on Disney Plus. I was like that's pretty cool. I thought it was going to be like a small production. So what a pleasant surprise it was for Nara Altabar to see just how big of a deal Miss Marvel really is. She and some other students wearing their Miss Marvel costumes got a chance to see a special screening of the show in New York even sharing the red carpet with Iman Vellani, the actress who plays Miss Marvel. People were waving at us, taking pictures with us, taking pictures of us, and overall everyone was just excited to see us. And they were like, oh, are you guys like a fan club? Are you guys part of the event? And we were like, no, we're from the actual high school. And they were like, oh, that's so cool. Students even formed a club at the school in anticipation of the show. It's called Cole's Kamala Corps, a nod to McNair, which is on Cole Street. English teacher Holly Smith is the club's advisor. We have always supported Miss Marvel since 2014 when the character was first announced and you know we've done different um, events with you know sending costume Miss Marvels we've gone to Comic-Con um, but when the show come came out I knew it would be like a different level and I knew people would take some interest but while it's cool to see their school and their hometown on display in front of the world what's even better is highlighting people with different cultures and religious faiths in a positive light. I'm a first generation Pakistani Muslim um, American. I was an immigrant. I came here when I was around two and a half and I learned the language after I came here. So seeing her character as like a brown girl superhero, it's a very big deal to me, especially because I grew up on like, I grew up on Dora and Barbie. So Dora was like my first um, person of color kind of like media I consumed, but it was mostly like Barbie and it was a lot of white media that I saw on TV on like Disney Channel. So seeing kind of a brown superhero and her family on screen with her friends who are also people of color, it's very monumental kind of to see that. So what is it like for you to have these amazing students and be able to see them see themselves in Miss Marvel? You can't even describe it. It's kind of stepping into this world where the students really can see themselves in a way that's infinite and limitless and just leveling them up and giving them so much uh, confidence about themselves and their place in the world. And for these fans who share so much in common with Miss Marvel, it's just another strong reminder of how much representation really does matter. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.